This is quite a laborious and tedious task, but you know, you get to do some thinking, it's tinkering, and you know, it's a good workout. Definitely for the forearms. These are those tasks that people don't uh, anticipate when you're a gardener. You know, you gotta turn dirt, man, and make compost, you know? And some people say when the soil was gray like that, sandy, that that's when it's A1. I don't know. <laughs> I think the soil is a little bit better when it's, I call it black gold. I like to see it uh, very rich and robust. So when I add my worm castings in there, as my sister Ressie Roll says, you got worm castings and coffee, <laughs> the worms are gonna be hype. <laughs> she says she's gonna take them fishing. And that's a good idea. If you, uh, if you get ideas from me, I can get ideas from you. That's what it's all about, to help make the community um, grow together. It's a wonderful thing. So every time I see it turn like this kind of pale, you know, topsoil is always better than sand to me. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. That's what the song says, but I'm going to keep on mixing, guys. Put it in the comments what you put in your compost or what, what you put in your soil. All right. Bye. Now, was that? big change or no? Nah? Put it in the comments. Final product. Peat moss, perlite, coffee, worm castings, and Maybe some old tea bags. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later.